You know, there's two cardinal rules with dry fasting. One is you must maintain blood plasma glucose levels to keep the brain and the blood alive because they only live on sugars. Uh, you also have to protect vital muscle tissue such as the heart muscle and your skeletal muscles because millions of years ago when we didn't have food and we had to fast and there wasn't drink either we had to maintain those muscles so if any food came around we still had the muscles to grab it and eat it and stay alive so that's kind of how that breakdown of uh, redundancy in a service is kind of occur in the body now with dry fasting it's a lot easier because about day two and day three you start transitioning from sugars to fats but there's this crossover point between like 24 and 28 hours and 36 hours where you're in a transition between using sugar and using using fat so you got these two different things going in different directions what that does is it explains why a lot of people complain about that third day the two day three day they're feeling really bad sometimes they feel so bad they want to jump out of the dry fast and many of them do um, but it could just be from misreading these signs of dehydration and lack of fuel because you got to get your energy from somewhere. So in the body, it gets it from glucose and proteins. That's why water fasting is pretty dangerous because it doesn't turn on the fat cycle as much as it turns on the dissolve the muscle tissue for ketogenic amino acids and uh, uh, glycerol for uh, sugars for plasma glucose. So you lose muscle mass and fat. Uh, on a water fast, but you don't lose muscle mass on a dry fast because in a dry fast because the pituitary and hypothalamus working together during that time period of transition uh, It's releasing growth hormone which saves muscle tissue. So there's hardly any muscle mass loss You'll lose some fat and some water that'll come back, but with water fast you end up using Muscle and fat and it's really hard to get the muscle back you see, taking the time to build muscle, like I talk about in neogenesis, is critical for strength and durability and to prevent sarcopenia and osteoporosis and all the other good stuff releasing osteocalcin to keep you healthy and young. But if you don't do that, it's really hard on the body with a water fast because you lose that muscle and you can't get it back with a ton, without a ton of working. You'll get a lot of fat and water weighed back real fast. But that's because of how the fat deposits in the body in emergencies and other situations. I talk about that both in Neogenesis and in the Phoenix Protocol. So my advice to people that are having a hard time at day two and three is to realize that you're at a crossover point where one fuel's coming in, one fuel's exhausting, and it's like flying in an airplane. You know, you can either find a new source of fuel to keep going without having to tear your airplane up, or like water fasting where you start eating holes in the wings because you start dissolving protein and you know your heart's a protein a muscle so my advice is push through that get to day three and when you see the the energy increase because as you start using fat which is what your mitochondria love to use because stearic acid and the fats and triglycerides have a huge amount of ATP production per one line for one chain of free fatty acids so you end up with a ability to make a lot of energy really fast you get the energy back because you've stimulated the, the body to cut up the triglycerides in the fat cells lipase uh, epinephrine uh, combination during that first phase of dry fast when you turn to fat you end up getting a lot of glycerol too which turns into plasma glucose so there you go this is why I like dry fasting it obeys the two cardinal rules of all fasting and this is why dry fasting is so superior you have to maintain plasma glucose levels to keep your brain and your blood alive it's delivering the oxygen you got to keep that alive and two you got to prevent vital muscle tissue loss dry fasting turns on growth hormone that gets protected you know it's the best thing to do so what you've attempted to do if you're trying to five day or seven day dry fast get through that two and three days because you'll get through it you'll get your energy back and you'll get ready for the next crisis periods where the body starts going through fevers to dissolve bacteria and virus and it goes back down and you have all these changes during this time period because you're in a, re a repair mode you're not digesting food you've turned all that on to repair your body in the inside out can't do it with pills and drugs and stuff like that you can only buy only do it by allowing your body to do it. it's designed to do it anyway that's it for today and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow or the next day